the price of Bitcoin has dropped, so we're going to be looking at why that's happened. And also a very strange code. Could this be evidence of time travel? You definitely want to stay tuned. So yes, welcome to Bitcoin News Today. The price of Bitcoin is dropping today and uh, this is forecast because we are currently in a bit of a bear market and no doubt when we do reach uh, this major trend line, which is a all time trend line, then the price of Bitcoin will start going up again. Let's just look at the one hour chart and see today's action. The price was up at 6,714 and it's dropped down to 6,168 currently, a minus 8% drop. So significant drop today. So let's have a look at today's news to see what might be causing that drop. First of all, Japan hits six more crypto exchanges with business improvement orders. So Japan's financial regulator, the FSA, has sent business improvement orders to six uh, crypto exchanges. According to press releases, the FSA has demanded a risk management overhaul centered on anti-money laundering and know your customer requirements from Bitflyer, Quion, BTC Box, Bitbank, Tech Bureau and Bitpoint. So major, um, major influences there happening on the Japan um, crypto exchanges. So similar to what we've seen on US exchanges, which has been good really for US consumers. Uh, so overall a positive story there because it's going to reduce fraud and um, risks. But uh, I think it is being seen as a negative in the news at the moment. Another negative story, whenever Mt. Gox is mentioned, the crypto price does drop. So today, uh, the defunct crypto exchange Mt. Gox has begun civil rehabilitation proceedings and has ended its Bitcoin sell-offs. But again, we've seen quite a drop in Bitcoin price today, even though this is generally going to be a good news story because what they're saying here is that people who have lost out, who had money in Mt. Gox, are now going to get their compensation in Bitcoin instead of fiat currency. So let me know in the comments, did you lose any money with Mt. Gox and do you see this as being good news or bad news? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Chinese police have arrested a Bitcoin miner who stole 150 megawatts of electricity. Um, a Chinese man has found himself in police custody after attempting to steal electricity to fund his unprofitable Bitcoin mining operation, uh, according to local media there. The suspect, only by, uh, known by his surname Ma, uh, allegedly mined Bitcoin and Ethereum on 200 computers in the Anhui province, all of which have been confiscated by the police upon the miner's arrest. In total, he's stolen 150 megawatts of electricity, according to the local news source. Uh, he had no idea about the power costs for running the considerable mining operation when he purchased the hardware in April, which subsequently turned out to be the equivalent of $930 of electricity per day. And police were alerted when the local grid reported abnormal electricity usage. Major crypto sell-off in India as well as ZebPay warns users of potential withdrawal suspension. So I, I think this is one of the major causes of the, uh, the price crash today. So yesterday afternoon, India's largest exchange, ZebPay, sent out a notice to users warning banks may terminate deposits and withdrawals anytime soon. 
On April the 5th, the Reserve Bank of India had announced that banks registered with them should not deal with cryptocurrencies or companies that deal with crypto. This cuts off exchanges from accessing banking services. The RBI had given three months time for the banks, which is set to end soon. Yesterday's ZPay notice came as no su surprise, but it did have a huge impact on the market, inducing panic and widespread sell-offs. The 24-hour trade volume for Bitcoin on ZPay yesterday was, uh, I'm not sure if that's high or low, to be honest. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. Um, the ZPay notice was sent out at 2.30 p.m. and the price took a major dip in the following hour. So that might be the, your answer about why the price is dropping today. But potentially a good time to pick up some low priced Bitcoin. Also, only a third of the richest are informed on Bitcoin. Despite seeing their investment return above 20% in 2017 for two consecutive years, the richest people in the world said they are not fully satisfied with their asset managers and want to learn more about crypto. Only a third of the richest were informed. The collective wealth of the world's millionaires went up to $70 trillion for the first time and they have amassed they will have amassed a hundred trillion by 2025 the cape gemini world wealth report found that rich people are increasingly interested in cryptocurrencies but only about half of them are happy with their wealth managers only a third of these millionaires said they got information about crypto from their asset managers um, because it's an unregulated asset a lot of uh, financial advisors will not give advice on cryptocurrency but interesting that more and more rich people are interested uh, uh, nearly 50 percent of the japanese said that they won't invest in crypto when cryptocurrencies boomed in japan in 2017 the japanese crypto investors were mainly people in their 20s and 30s um, by the time the survey was conducted in April 2018, 17% of Japanese people had invested in cryptocurrencies. Very interesting. Let me know, by the way, in the comments, have you invested in crypto yet or are you just looking for information? I would love to know. There's been three errors in the BIS report on Bitcoin. The Bank for International Settlements, the BIS, released a report on cryptocurrencies over the weekend as part of their 2018 annual economic report. The intention of the report was to look beyond the hype and figure out if there are any real world economic problems that can be solved by blockchain technology. But in their analysis, they made a number of obvious errors from ignoring the fact that systems like Bitcoin can scale via multi-layered approaches rather than placing all transactions on the blockchain to claiming that miners can decide to change the Bitcoin protocol rules on their own via a hard fork, it's clear that more research was needed before putting out the report. So they were wrong about scalability. They was wrong that miners don't control Bitcoin, well, they was wrong saying that miners control Bitcoin and they missed the point of Bitcoin. Uh, one last issue is that the report misses the point of why Bitcoin was created in the first place. Issues such as scalability, finality and cost are brought up as reasons why Bitcoin cannot compete with legacy systems. But Bitcoin was built for and by cyberpunks for the purpose of removing third party control from online finance. Blockchain payments might be less efficient than sending money to a friend via Venmo, for example. But Bitcoin was not created for that use case. Bitcoin was created by, oh sorry, cypherpunks to enable types of transactions that were not possible in the past. And moving on, to that, uh, this is very interesting. This hashtag uh, 21E800 in particular um, has come out in the news today. So just to give you a quick rundown on this, um, this is a block hash 
uh, that has been found very recently in the last day or two and apparently this number 21E800 is very uh, significant. Uh, 21E8 signifies an exceptionally simple theory of everything often known as the E8 theory. So there's a lot of uh, talk about how this has come about and uh, the beginnings of Bitcoin. Did the creator of Bitcoin, uh, somebody that calls himself uh, Satoshi, uh, did he code this in, in, per in on purpose? And they're talking about the Genesis block took six days to, mi to mine and Satoshi rested on the seventh day. Uh, is that a, is that uh, referring back to the Bible? Um, there's also been some, um, some conjecture that perhaps either a supercomputer was involved in the creation of Bitcoin or even time travel. Uh, surprisingly enough. Uh, apparently people are saying that this code could not have come about by random chance alone and for for it to be coded into Bitcoin it would have created such it would have needed such computational power right at the start of Bitcoin that it's uh, it's really baffling everybody right now. So do let me know what you think about that in the comments. I would definitely love to hear your opinion. And um, does time travel exist? Is, is Bitcoin evidence that somebody it, perhaps in the future created a technology that we are really only beginning to understand? And just finally on this point, apparently all these zeros are significant as well. There's more zeros than is really needed. So the people are also saying that maybe there's uses for Bitcoin that we haven't even started to imagine yet. So do give this video a thumbs up now. Please do subscribe to my channel and I'll be making more videos like this. Also, if you're getting just getting started with Bitcoin and you'd like $10 worth of Bitcoin free, click the link in the video description to claim your free Bitcoin now. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye for now.